Hi, my dear friends. You're welcome to the special month of July. Are you as excited as I am? Yes, I know you're excited. Welcome, welcome again. And you're welcome to another episode. I'm really glad that you're here with your mommy, with your daddy, with your siblings watching this with me. I'm really, really grateful um, that God has kept you and I till this point and your parents. I'm so glad. Today we're going to take a moment to pray for our parents, thanking God for them. And we're going to say a prayer that God will strengthen them. Can we do that together? Yes, let's do that. Our hands together. Let's take it here. Up, up, one. Should we start here? One and two. Now we have ten fingers together. Ooh, let's clap. Great job. Now let's close our eyes. Oh, great job. Can we bow our heads? Wonderful. You're so smart. Now we say thank you to Jesus because you are good. Thank you, dear Lord, because you're kind to our parents. You keep strengthening them. You keep providing for them. You keep making way for them. And we're so grateful. Lord God, we're asking that this month you'll make them smile more in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask that you will supply all their needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus. We pray that you will strengthen and you will help them in Jesus' name. Thank you, dear Lord. I want to say that you tell our parents, tell them, let them hear in their ears every time in their hearts that we love them so much. In Jesus' mighty name, we're afraid. Amen. Yippee. We pray for our parents. Do you know I ask you to pray for your parents? It's because it's always great to pray for your parents, to pray for your friends, to pray for your siblings. Who else again? To pray for your grandparents. Who else again? To pray for even the security man in your house. Yes, if you have a help at home, it's great to pray for them because God wants you to pray for everyone. Are we clear? Do you love that? Great job. So today we're going to be learning the rainbow song. Are you as excited as I am? I've looked forward to making this video with you um, and I'm really glad. Now, let me tell you something about the rainbow. There was a time in the Bible days that it rained heavily because God was not pleased with man. They made daddy God very sad and he was wondering, what can I do? And then he decided to destroy every living thing and creature. But there was one man, his name is Noah. He was kept, he and his family, because they decided to obey God. It rained 40 days and 40 nights. It was very heavy. You have never seen such kind of rain before, I tell you. And when the rain subsided, as you said, a big word, right? Yes, subsided means stopped. Yes, when the rain stopped, when it ceased, you can say ceased as well. Yes, when the rain ceased, God told Noah, he says, I will never destroy the earth again. It says, in our, in our told him, he said, as a, as a sign, you know, of my covenant with you, look up in the sky, you will see the rainbow, beautiful colors. I promise I will never destroy the earth again. And God has been keeping his promises because he's a God that keeps promises. So whenever you hear something else that about um, the rainbow, will you believe it? No, because it does not tally with the scripture. He does not follow what God has already said. Do you understand? So the rainbow is a sign of God's promise to you and to me, to your mommy and your daddy, to the whole world that he will never destroy the earth again. So let's learn our song today. It's a simple song. Let's go. The rainbow is a sign of God's promise to men. That he will never destroy the earth again. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. The rainbow is a sign of God's promise to us. It's that simple. Let's go again. The rainbow is a sign of God's promise to us. That he will never destroy the earth again. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. And it's wearing green, 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 color green, blue, indigo, violet. The rainbow is a sign of God's promise to man. Can we take it again? The rainbow is a sign of God's promise to you. 
that he will never destroy the earth again. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. The rainbow is a sign of God's promise to man, to you, to me. Now what's God's promise to man? What's the rainbow? What's, what does the rainbow stand for rather? <laughs> Forgive auntie. <laughs> the rainbow is a sign of God's promise to man. Who was the first family that saw the rainbow? Mm, I know you know it. Yes, Noah and his family saw the rainbow first. Yes. Where is the rainbow always seen? Hmm. Auntie, I know this one. I know it. I know it. I know it. Can I say it? Can I say it? Yes, it's always seen in the sky. Very beautiful. What are the colors on the rainbow? No, no, no. Let me just ask you. How many colors does the rainbow have? Seven, 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 seven numbers. Seven, 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 seven. Now show me seven. Five and two seven yes seven so let's mention it the colors that are on the rainbow red orange yellow great job green wonderful and he's wearing color green blue wonderful indigo great job and violet so we have seven in number the rainbow is seven in number and the rainbow is a sign of word God's promise to man God's promise to you as his child that he will not destroy the earth again can we sing it one more time the rainbow is a sign of God's promise to what's your name Shadi great the rainbow is a sign of God's promise to John, yes, that he will never destroy the earth again. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. The rainbow is a sign of God's promise to you. I love you and I love the fact that you learn so fast. Have you learned anything today? Yes, that the rainbow is a sign of God's promise to you. I'm so proud of you, really. Thank you for learning and learning every week. Okay, we move to words. Say it with me, say it with me. Or oh, guess it with me. Sticky time, it's time for sticky time. Can you tell me what sticky time is about again? Yes, sticky time is what God says about you. We're saying what God says about you. We're saying what God says about you. You're saying what God says about you. And that's the beautiful theme. Wow. We just composed this song again. You are so smart. Now let's move to sticky time. I'm so proud of you. It's sticky time, my dear friends. And I have a very, my very favorite microphone. I've never used this before, but I like it because it is a touch light. You can see it on his face. It's a touch light. Can you guess the sticky word with this touch light? It's very simple. You can easily guess it. Yes. I am the light of the world. Can you see the light on Auntie's face? Yes. I am the light of the world. I am city. Sad or not you that cannot be hidden. Yes. So let's go to our song straight. The word of God says that you are the light of the world and you are a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. Can you guess where that scripture is? Hmm, guess it. Guess, 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 guess. Yes, Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. It says, You are the light of the world. You are a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. I don't want to talk too much. I just want us to sing a song. So it's simple. Let's go. I am the light of the world. 
Aw, I see the set on the hill. Yay, I can be hidden. Hmm. Oh, I can be hidden. Ah, 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 I am the light of the world. Light, light, light. I see the set on the hill. Let's go, let's go. I will bring glory to the Lord. Let's go, let's sing again. I am the light of the world. I see the set on the hill. Oh my God, I can't be hidden. Are you dancing like me? Oh, I can't be hidden. Well, 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 I am the light of the world. Yes, I see the set on the hill. Let's sing, let's sing. Oh, I will bring glory to the Lord. Oh, 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 oh. panting. <laughs> Don't mind, Auntie. You are the light of the world. And you know why God has made you light? So that you can bring glory to his name. You know when a place is very dark, like if I switch off the light in my house, or you switch off the light in your house, and everywhere is dark, it seems sad, it seems tearing, it seems gloomy. Oh, but immediately we switch on the light. Everybody is so happy and alive. That's what God has made you to be. Wherever you step into, people come alive. People are full of joy. People are full of life. God wants you to shine his light. And how does God want you to shine his light? Mm, can you tell me? Mm, or should Auntie say it for you? Mm, Auntie is thinking too. How does God want Auntie to shine her light? Yes, God wants you to shine your light by sharing the gospel of Jesus to everyone. To your friends in school. Yes, to that Auntie that does not know Jesus. An uncle that does not know Jesus, maybe your teacher, if she doesn't, he or she doesn't know Jesus, God wants you to share the gospel with them. You can sing the gospel to them like Auntie's singing to you. You can paint it to them. Yes, if you're gifted in painting, whatever you are good with, yes, you can share the gospel through whatever means that God, whatever talent that God has given to you. Hmm. Did Auntie just say something hard? Don't worry, Auntie's going to be teaching you more about your talent, your gifting in coming days. Yes. So God wants you to shine his light with whatever you have learned, whatever you know, whatever he has blessed you with. Yes. So you will shine your light to the world. Wherever it's dark, you will shine the light there. So let's go again and sing our song, shall we? And we're going to take turns again, like we always do. Let's go. I am the light of the world. Doom, doom, doom. I see the set on the hill. Ah, ah, ah. I can't be hidden. Ooh, oh, I can't be hidden. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am the light of the world. Yes, yes. Yes, I see the set on the hill. Mom, mom, mom. I will bring glory to the Lord. I will bring praises to the Lord. We didn't really take time. Don't mind, Auntie. Auntie was too excited. She didn't allow you to sing. So let's do it together again. I'm sorry. Don't mind, Auntie. Let's go. I am the light of the world. Great job. I see the set on the hill. Great job. I can't be hidden. No, who can hide me? Nobody. Oh, I can be hidden. Yes, yes, yes. I am the light of the world. Great job. I see the set on the hill. Great job. Let's go. I will bring glory. Great job to the Lord. My God, I will bring glory to the Lord. Yes, we will bring glory to Jesus. You will bring glory to the Lord. You will shine your light in Jesus' name. And God will strengthen you to always shine your light in the name of Jesus. Are you glad? Can you see I am the light of the world? I am the light of the world. And I'm so excited about that. You know, auntie's always excited. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited that I am the light of the world. Have you learned something today? Are you glad that you joined in? I'm so glad you joined in. I also enjoyed myself a lot. In fact, auntie's just, <gasps> she's panted. <gasps> 
<laughs> Don't mind that. Can we say bye to each other? Bye bye. I love you very much. I pray that you have an amazing weekend and an amazing school week ahead. Bye.